give me any instrument really and I'll just play exactly my feelings. And Dancing is a representation of everything that you are and everything that you believe in. No one is really the dominant voice. No one's really the dominant language. It only works if we're all equal. For me, Tribe of One has been the opportunity to work with um, people from different cultures, backgrounds, uh, philosophies, lifestyles. Working with different artists from different ethnicities and really relying on the similarities and that number one similarity that I felt uh, performing with Tribe of One and being a part of the whole aspect or the whole idea of Tribe of One was that all of us are in love with our art. Being part um, of the first show that I, um, I played or collaborated with Tribe of One was Move, uh, Move Mate, was uh, um, overwhelmed because I never even thought that there was anything like that in, in, a, in the music industry and these form of art coming in and out, these paintings, these dancers, was incredible. It is a really visually rich show with dancers coming and going and, and they're in their different regalia and the visual artists are painting, you know, always different every night, and it's picking up on the music and it's swirling with that, and the dancers are affecting the painters, and the painters are affecting the musicians. I have a lot more fun these days with performance art and tribe experiences, because I, have, I feel a lot more freedom to just be who I am, do whatever colors I want. I'm not worried about subject matter so much. It's very, uh, it's just, a subconscious flow that just happens. I enjoy the music. I just I love dancing, so I just get into it and paint, and, uh, and feel more comfortable just being me, doing what I do. I love painting. To be on stage and and look across the stage and see Tina painting, but caught up in the groove, so that she's actually dancing and periodically stopping painting because she's so caught up in the movement of moving to the music. Uh, there's just something about that that is so exhilarating. When we start bringing in artistically uh, things like salsa mixed in with round dancing, that is so beyond what anybody else would see. Dancing is a representation of everything that you are and everything that you believe in then if salsa dancing is an expression, then it's an art form. The song where the dancer comes out and Buffy comes out, 
I can feel that focus of the audience increase towards the stage, but it's not all focused on me. Now they're drawn in by what is the color and the fabric and the movement and the, the feathers and, the, and what's in her hands and in her hair and on her feet. And you can just feel this energy just floating around the stage. And when it lands together, man, it, it makes you want to dance. Part of what I think is really unique about us coming from Manitoba is that this is really a place in Canada where the First Nation, the Métis, the English, the Francophone, probably more than anywhere else in the country, it comes together here. On, on a daily basis, you can see the Aboriginal culture being expressed every day in every type of area in Winnipeg. Being part of Tribal One, um, um, let me be so much more creative and also let the, my love of my own culture be free a bit more. We started creating this multicultural experience which we hear about growing up in Canada but I get to actually experience it and just bring my little piece of the puzzle. From the Aboriginal culture where do we fit on that multicultural scale? Because yes, we do, and we can hang on to our history for hundreds and hundreds of years. Whether it's verbal teachings, whether it's physical teachings, whether it's emotional or spiritual, the knowledge, all of those things, all of those elements that Aboriginal people carry, but also bringing in that element of where do we fit in the rest of this world? Oh, oh, oh.